Freedom Front Plus don't agree. The IFP's Mkuleko Hlengwa. It is tantamount to running away. Recalling ambassadors or removing ambassadors amounts to regressive diplomacy. The Freedom Front Plus's Korne Mulder. South Africa will not be in a position to play any role whatsoever in terms of any mediation or any chance to try and play a constructive and a positive role to bring this conflict to an end. The EFF's motion will be voted on by a full sitting of the House next week. Lindsay Dentlinger, Eyewitness News. And a group of peaceful mine workers have gathered outside Blaufour Mine near Coltonville on the West Rand, demanding answers from mine management about plans to resolve the labour issue. More than 800 workers are staging a sit-in at the Peter Skeet operation, calling for their demands to be addressed. Nogga Yamtambo is there for us. Out of the frying pan into the fire seems to be the best way to describe the precarious labour relations in the gold mining sector at the moment. The picture we're seeing here at Blaifuel almost mimics what we saw play out at Goldwyn Mine over the last few weeks. Except this time, the National Union of Mine Workers is on the outside looking in. While the union has distanced itself from the sit-in, we're told workers underground want NUM to be granted rights to organise at the operation. Workers are accusing management of refusing to give them answers about their prior promises for profit sharing and 13th checks for the December holidays. Four shop stewards have been sent down to the shaft to negotiate with workers to come back to the surface for talks to continue under safer and more conducive conditions. Nogukayam Dambo, Eyewitness News in Coltonville. On the weather front, a partly cloudy Friday in store for Hoteng tomorrow, with scattered showers expected. Joburg dropping to an overnight low of 13 degrees, peaking at 26. Pretoria 14 and 30, for Inaheng 16 and 28. The Rato Hufala, Eyewitness News. Hashtag MSW. You may begin to feel anxious or excited. Honest, deliberate, engaging, uncensored. High dosage administration can cause adverse reactions. And most importantly, independent in mind and execution. This is a normal response. Are you ready? Marawa Sports Worldwide. As coach Bishan of um, says that he is ready. So when things are happening with Hugo Bruce and his charges and national teams around the world, this is the best time. Get your new tracksuit. Get all the new stuff that you need uh, before we get back to local football again. So I'm sure you'll have enough time uh, for fittings. Thank you so much, coach. No, no, no. Thank you. I appreciate you, Baba. Thanks. What a career this is. 50. One day hundreds. 50. Just let that sink in a little bit. Say it gently. 50. One day international hundreds. Hey, 50th ODI. Hey, hundreds. So the commentator said, say that again very, very slowly. Sisso Pala is his name. So there's no best right winger in the PSL right now. You said this about two years ago. Yeah, obviously when you play, obviously there's no better right winger than me. At that time, when yeah, I was yeah, playing. Yeah. yeah, no, of course. And now? Now who's there? Which winger is there? You tell me. I don't know. You tell me. This, the, the, that's what I'm saying. The football is playing now. It's, yeah. I'm it's, asking you this deliberately because it, it should be top of mind. Your difficulty in getting the answer is my answer. So that's why I didn't even help you. Robert Marawa, live on 947. Vuma FM, Rise FM, and Sowetan Live. Hashtag MSW. Twenty runs of sixty-two balls, and eh? that's what uh, Australia need right now. It's sitting on one hundred and ninety-three for six. I, I don't think there's a South African. If you're driving right now, I think you're just as nervous. Have we taken a wicket? Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, anything can happen here. One hundred and ninety-three for seven. Sixty-one balls. Oh, man, we're going to nervously navigate this journey with you um, until we get to the other side. You know, I was saying early on, 
guys, it, it takes gutsy performances sometimes. And we saw that. We saw that with David Miller earlier today. And right now, the bowlers are taking charge. The Australians are frustrated. And you can tell, man, there's a great deal of focus. We can't go back to what we've been and had in the past. No, we can't. Josh Inglis, 28 for 49. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a mind-blowing occasion right now. Uh, but I also just think that it is a, a fascinating time for world cricket. 193 for 7. What will happen next? And you know, when you get to the stage and the bowling is not so confident. But guess what? South Africa's bowling coming to the fore. I think it's just more the batting from the Australians that is now struggling. And as I was trying to recapture what happened earlier today, I mean, David Miller, a, a magnificent, heroic century. It was adverse conditions, but he made it. Gave South Africa that glimmer of hope with that total of 213. That's exactly what Australia is chasing right now. After deciding to bat first. I mean, he came to the crease at a wretched 24 for 4. Brought up his sixth ODI century from 115 balls. And also just what? Eight fours, five sixes. In a desperate bid to keep his team alive. And also retain hope for a first World Cup final. He was dismissed for 101 with 16 balls of the innings remaining. Oh, I think my, my guest, who is a, a great footballer and he knows all about football, I think he's more nervous than any anything we've ever seen before. Oh, but what a delivery from Kutsia. So South Africa, wherever you are, around the country, the continent, or the world, this is hashtag MSW Mara Sports Worldwide. As South Africans sit, listen, wherever they are. This is a big moment, guys. I think the Rugby World Cup brought something special. We were relying on Temba Bavum and his charges to also bring the magic on. And despite whatever people's personal feelings are about the man, he's there, he's the captain. Nothing can change at this stage. He says he wasn't 100% fit, yeah? He was being honest. Did you want him to lie? I think people will criticize Bovum, even if he's holding a World Cup trophy. Oh, let's take a deep breath, man. <laughs> Come back, I'll tell you about who's in studio with me. Previously on Marawa Sports Worldwide. The CAF A license coaching course at the South African Football Association South for headquarters in Nasrak is currently underway. Town City coach Eric Tinkler, who's currently attending the course, speaks about the importance of investing in yourself. Yeah, I think the course has been, been great. It's been a long time since I've been back in the classroom. So I've, I've been quite impressed, obviously, so far in terms of the content requirements now to be a professional coach is very, very high, you know. I attained my UEFA coaching license many, many years ago uh, in England, and obviously I look to try and uh, better myself as a coach looking for my pro license. I applied for many, many years, you know, so we've been asking for this course for quite a while now. Hashtag MSW. Hashtag MSW. All right, so let's keep this hopeful feeling going, South Africa. I think we thrive under such conditions. We do. <laughs> and there's just something burning in me that says, yeah, today could be it. Uh, so without any further waste of time, we'll keep you up to date, though. As hopefully the wickets continue to tumble and Australia doesn't get to the promised land, but we do. That is the only promise I can share right now, but... Talking about a killer instinct that is needed right now from the Proteas. 
and even a better lethal finisher that this man was. I mean, what a jam he was in front of goals. I mean, he scored the most breathtaking of goals that we've ever seen in a footballer, a product of Jamal Cosmos. I mean, that's where he started his professional football career, spent uh, the 2003-2004 season there. And just after one season, uh, he was off to France to play for RC Strasbourg and also start the Reims. 2006 returned to Mzansi to join the Pretoria Bayside side Supersport United, later moving uh, to the arch rivals Mamelodi Sundowns, where his goal poaching abilities took center stage. And he spent, what, six seasons with Masandawana, 48 goals for the club. And his journey continues on and on and on. I'm well, not going to spoil it for you. You are going to be taking some of your WhatsApp voice notes, guys. Um, whether it's about the cricket or to Katla Bella, who is here with me, 060-708-0484. The struggles that we've seen today. Hey, Katla Bella, good to see you, man. Welcome to the show. Yeah, good to see you, Rob. Hey. Yeah, thank you for having me. Are you good? I'm well. I'm very well. Then you, my brother. I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. I'm watching cricket. I'm nervous. Yeah, it's hey. never like you. What do you think is going to happen here? And I, I know this is, I've never even asked you if, Cricket is one of the things that you do watch, but regardless, we all South Africans right now. A lot of people didn't watch rugby before the France Rugby World Cup. Uh, I think it's a tough one, but I'm hoping for them to do well and and and, and try to pull, try oh. to pull a miracle and and continue where the spring box uh, left off. They should. I think they should. I think they can. I know there's a lot of doubting Thomases that are out there. But at 195, 195 for seven, guys. So, who, who, who. You know what I can simply ask, Katleko, is just from, from your side, since your retirement, what have, what have you missed? You said something quite important to me as you walked in. You said you've never known that you were this important <laughs> and this famous, and you've never trended like this since you were a football player. Yeah, yeah, Rob. Uh, since this thing blew off, uh, even today I'm still shocked. And uh, but it shows that uh, the impact I made in this uh, in this football industry and in this country, especially. So, as much as there's, there were there's negatives into this uh, this thing, uh, but the positives have been uh, overwhelming. Why do you think it's it's that? It, all it took was for you to post on your social media that this is your new job. Uh, this is the service you can deliver. Uh, they can contact you. I mean, there's no crime in that. Yeah, it, all it took was one post for me. And uh, But honestly speaking, something that I've been thinking about it for, for quite some time. And um, when I posted, I was like, you know what? Uh, I've decided, let me do this. Because in another day, it's, uh, it's something that uh, I thought of very well. Very well and... Uh, I thought the industry it goes a bit hand in hand with with, with soccer because of you you deal with people and and, and all that stuff. So, it's, as I said, it's something that I thought of uh, for a very long time. And just to throw it back, I mean, talking about cars, did you ever have a car sponsorship while you were in the height of your football career? Nah, not really, not really. But uh, I was once approached by. Uh, by Toyota, I think that yeah. was a long time ago, but the deal, the deal didn't go anywhere. They didn't go anywhere, so I was never, never sponsored by any car, car, car dealership. But there were there were players that you would have played with that had those sponsorships, and how did that make you feel? And and what did you start to question about yourself in terms of, oh, Gandhi, what must I do to be able to get this? Yes, there were quite some few. I think when in my playing days, there was Teco, I think E2. Also shower, and by then we we were in the same level then. So I, I thought maybe it was the thing of uh, playing for the big two, which is uh, the Soviet Giants, yes. <laughs> Chiefs, and, 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 and Pilots. I never thought about it that much because mm -hmm. you know uh, I was doing very well for myself as well. Yeah. So I never thought about cars uh, for, for, for on that. So, but I questioned. My, my 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 impact in the in the football mm. industry so but it's not something that was bothering me so you not questioning it would have meant what do you think that 
you know, you talk about the eaters of this world. Was it a case of just what an agent who was a little bit more proactive, an agent that was fighting a little bit more for you to try get you more sponsorships, to try get you more recognition? I don't know. I, don't ever, I never thought about it that much by, uh, by that time, but uh, it might be the case. Mm-hmm. Mm, I think they had an agent in, in Jasmine. Yes. Mm, and, and if you can check the record, all Jasmine's players, they, they had, you know, endorsement outside, outside football. So I thought about it uh, for a bit, but it didn't bother me. Now it comes full circle. Let me ask you the question in reverse. If mm. you had to look at the footballers right now and you had to go and suggest to management um, at the dealership and say, you know what, let's look into a sponsorship deal to give player X, a player that you would have identified now that is currently playing. Do you think there is a player that is deserving of such an accolade? <laughs> that is currently playing now. Mm. Let me... Obviously, you still have your your your, your Temba Zwanis. Uh, you still have your Temba has a sponsorship, yeah. Oh, he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's also with the with yeah, the vehicle yeah. company that you with now. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know. They Not didn't the branch, me. though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are we talking about South African players? Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, it's tough. It's a tough one. It's a tough one because. How do we change? How do I don't know how the criteria works, but mm. if 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 it's all about performances and and or being popular, you still have your kicking dolly, maybe. Yeah. And uh, I like the boy from Sundowns, the right back, but I don't I don't think he's someone who's out there, Modau or something. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think he's someone who's out there. I don't think his personality matches with this uh, balance endorsements. But yeah, yeah. yes, I think he deserves that as well. Maybe sometimes, you know, you, you know what struck me about him is when he came into studio after winning one of the many trophies that Sundowns win, is actually the opposite. I think it's, it's at times media who don't give the players the platforms or the opportunities for uh, the public yeah. to get to see what their personalities are about, to see what they're all about. So they deny them the platform because from a distance. Yeah, I think even during our playing days, when yeah. you, when you're not out there in the, in, the, in the social space, in the media, you know, you're not wearing your, your earrings and sunglasses, and you you, you, they, you are not they, the man. Yeah, they overlook you even even you perform very well. But I mean, it seems like that's how it is in South Africa in all these industries. How would you rate the game right now? You you look back as a as a former player right now, does it excite you? Do you look forward to weekends? Do you look forward to watching the games? Mm, I don't really want to judge. Uh, Be honest. The, 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 the generations, but yeah. uh, I think also football is evolving. But honestly speaking, I don't, I don't watch that much of the games. Uh, I choose games. And maybe I watch Sundowns when it plays because it excites me how they play their football. Yeah. Maybe I watch the Sochi Derby, but I can't. I can't watch those so-called. So small, you have never watched, teams. like you've never watched Sekukune play against the Golden Arrows, or no? Honestly speaking, no, I've not, no, not. not. <laughs> but the, I mean, do you feel disappointed? Uh, uh, do you feel disappointed that we are at that stage where nothing is uplifting? So keep that question in your mind, uh, because I'll come back to it when we come back from the break. Um, I can tell you that there's been a a bit of a shift in terms of the game itself. Um, Australia currently turned it and won for seven, needing 12 runs of, uh, what, 48 balls. Uh, that's what it looks like right now. So I'm sure by the time we come back from the break... <sighs> Hashtag MSW live now. on 947 Vuma FM, Rise FM and Soweto Live at the same time. Hashtag MSW we picked the better path. Out with the blue and in with the open view. Extra drama. Extra loves. Extra romance. Extra action. They've got that too, babes. All you need to do is pick the better box. Pick the better box. And make the better choice. With the once off payment, break out of your current expensive boring box and get into ours. Open view. It's for everyone. 
One million rand is up for grabs with Hollywood Bed's Spinner Song as new prize drops. Spin for two rand or more on designated pragmatic play games every Tuesday and Thursday from 8.30 to 10.30. Hollywood Bet's Take a spin with us. T's and C's apply. Hollywood Sportsbook is a licensed betting operator. Hollywood Bet supports responsible gambling. No persons under the age of 18 years are permitted to gamble. Winners know when to stop. South African Responsible Gambling Foundation toll-free counseling line 0800 006 008 or WhatsApp help to 076 675 0710. ESCOM understands that electricity is an integral part of running a business. However, electricity demand is currently higher than supply and energy efficiency is critical. Businesses are encouraged to reduce consumption between 7 a.m. and 6 p.m. by not leaving electrical equipment on standby mode, as well as turning off unnecessary lighting. We can reduce load shedding by working together. Every kilowatt counts. When it comes to Amar Road Trip with the squad, everyone suddenly becomes an ox DJ. Now we've got to sit through Samantha's world music. And Jablan is Maskani. We can't stop the music, but we can give you a shot at winning a car when you make a stop at Wimpy at Engine on the way and spend a hundred rand or more. Wimpy at Engine. Every journey is always welcome. T's and C's apply. In South Africa, we say ETA. In Brazil, we say Ola. Now say it with me. Ola, Ola, Ola. Say hello to SAA's new direct flights to Sao Paulo, Brazil. On-stop flights from both OR Tambo and Cape Town International. Say hello to Bohemian hotspots, architecture, parties, and one of the biggest financial hubs in South America. Book now at flysaa.com or contact your nearest travel agent. The ones who know fly SAA to Sao Paulo, Brazil. I wear a few different hats as a CFO. You know, sometimes it's referred to as chief fixing officer. <laughs> Wherever there's a fire in the business, I'm often there first, and I think that's the bit I really enjoy and love. But it kind of spreads much more widely than finance. Ah. Whatever hats CFOs need to wear, Sage tools and insights can make sure they fit. Sage, helping business flow. Previously on Marawa Sports Worldwide. Mr. So, Pilot, have you officially retired from professional football? Not officially, but unofficially retired. What's the difference? I think the difference is that officially retired, you announced that you are now retired. <laughs> so, so what has stopped you then from making an announcement? I've never had the platform. What do you have to say to the nation? I'm officially retired from football. And yes. announcing it officially today for the first time? Yeah, on the MSW show, I'm officially announcing my retirement from professional football. On the biggest show. 15th of November, 2023. We're never going to see Tuzopala again. Your timing of inviting me to the show was really on point, as usual. <laughs> he says, as usual, this man. <laughs> Hashtag MSW. Hashtag MSW. Hey, good evening, Robert. You know, Robert, this issue of nail biting, no, it's not Ayoba, man. Tell me, Robert, like a sportsman, I know you understand this cricket thing. Can they budget like the first four should at least make so many runs? Unlike the way they were just eliminated. Awa, 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 man. No, no. Performance of South Africans today was not up to scratch at all. And now we are just on a nail biting seat. Our oh, Robert, no, 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 man. I, I, I. Cricketers always freeze when they come to semi finals. I, I don't know what's happening, Robert. Let's hope the God of Gods will help in this instance. But I, Harry, as a South African, I wish for the best. Good evening. Well, the God of Gods right now is saying what? That Australia needed 10 runs uh, from uh, what, 39 balls? Sure. It's 203 for 7. Currently is the score if you're driving wherever you are around the country, the continent or the world. Uh, that is where the pro tiers stand in the semi-finals of the Cricket World Cup. I think a little bit of the hope that was there starting to slowly, slowly disappear. We did try and limit the run rates, which I think the guys did a great job of. But right now it's down to just single digits. Nine runs of 38 balls. 
As I said, you can send me your WhatsApp voice notes, your comments. Hey, okay? we got a man who could have been a cricketer here in studio, but he became a football player, and he was uh, telling me all about his life, his journey. And I think a lot of you are already sending your WhatsApp voice notes, and uh, I look, I look forward to playing those so that we can share those uh, with a lot of the listeners that are currently listening right now. Maybe to break the mold slightly, something that lifted our spirits back in what? Was it 2009? This you have to feel is South Africa's last hope of taking the match into 30 extra minutes. It requires something very, very spectacular. Like that! Just like that! Catlego and Pelle brings a whole country alive and brings some spectators who are stampeding out of the stadium back in. This is real drama. And Pelle two, cancel out Guitha's two. What a strike, the best free kick of the entire Confederations Cup of 2009. Bafana, Bafana lives. Yeah, it is that moment. Uh, I think a lot of people still talk about it. You were listening to the commentary. Um, I was trying to read your reaction to it. I mean, you've heard it so many times. So many yeah. people have spoken about it. Uh, but for me, it's still, it's still goosebumps because I imagined the goal, the yeah. magnitude and what it meant. And for you, what does it do to you today on the 16th of November, 2023? Yeah, like you said, Rob, even still today, I still get uh, goosebumps. Uh, I mean, it's... Um must be one of the best moments of my career, if not the best moment, or arguably, arguably in the top five, top five goals in South African football. Life changing when, though, would you say? Yeah, life is changing, life yeah. is changing. I mean, uh, we were inspired by the likes of Filmon Massing, uh, you know, and um, uh, the likes of uh, Mark Williams, mm -hmm. uh, you had those Busiso Zumas and stuff, you know, people that make imp that made impact into into this uh, South African football. So when I said I mean, uh, maybe it's in the top five, um, I'm thinking about those guys. So they inspired me a lot, and and, and it's people that I grew up, uh, you know, admiring, admiring, mm -hmm. and especially Mr. Uh, Mr. Phil Masinga, may he so rest in peace. And the fact that the goal is still, uh, people are still talking about it today after a decade, it, it shows that uh, it, it was a very, very, very big goal. But what, 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 is, the, what is the inspiration? I mean, there's a, there's a thought process. <coughs> You're looking at the clock, it's literally the last kick, and it could change our, our impression of what the world would think of South African football after that. But for you, the pressure, you, you didn't yeah, see, yeah. I mean, I didn't see much. Remember Robert, when, when, when we went for camp before the, before the confet, yeah. you know, there, there were players that were not supposed to be there. And I, I think I was one of those players and uh, I was chosen in the last minute, in the last hour. I think someone was injured, was it Sio Long and Kosi or something? Yes. Yeah. So I replaced yeah. them. And uh, obviously, when I got in, I got a lot of critics. What is he doing there? He's not even playing in his team. Believe Bizo, blah blah, and this and this. But Bizo believed in me. Yeah. So uh, during that camp, it was a six weeks camp. I worked hard, Robert. I really worked hard. Yeah. I worked hard, and uh, I think first two games I didn't play. Mm. And then uh, yeah, the last game they threw me in against Spain, and uh, I wanted to prove something to myself. And also, obviously, try to prove some people wrong. And, mm -hmm. you know, God was there to, to lead me. And that goal happened. And But it's something that I was doing in training sessions as well. If you can ask a lot of players, they'll tell you how, how hard I was practicing those those, those shots out of the box. And yeah. so it was not something that, it was not a fluke. No, it didn't many, look like it. Yes, many people said it was a fluke. 
I mean, if a flu can yeah. change a game, can take yeah, yeah. Spain into extra time, can mm. score against Ike Casillas, I mean, yeah. that's that's no flu. But also, if you look back, some of the games, I've scored goals like that. Yeah. Too. Not not from that distance, but similar goals. So it's something that, that, that was in me. So. so. Because also, I mean, you talk about last minute stuff that was going on. Um, even Benny McCarthy hadn't pitched up for the Nelson Mandela Challenge yeah. tournament, if you go back in time. Um, and then they had to also bring yeah, you in yes, 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 at yes. that stage. But also you were chasing after the Benny record yeah. of number of goals scored. Yeah, it's something that I thought I was gonna I was gonna do. Yeah. But it didn't happen, you know, as 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 someone that got a lot of injuries and lost form and coaches changed and and uh, I was called I wasn't called up as much and and according and as you know, you know with the national team you don't play the whole season. You play how many games a year? Uh, three to four or five. Yeah, it's it's, it's not and much. It, it depends. And, yeah. It depends on your form as well if you get called up or not so it was something that was chasing to be honest i'm not gonna lie 31 <laughs> goals because that's what benny yes had. it still hurts me even this day because the way that was going with and 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 when Pereira and pizza were, were coaches uh, mm. i thought i was gonna do it he even mentioned it to me he even came to me and said mm. if one person is gonna do it it was you i mean i'm talking about benny yeah and it didn't happen so but i think i've done fairly well so I mean, you're totally. Yeah, yeah, like but, but that's how I was saying that. So, so, so. It, it's something that uh, is a personal disappointment for you. Yeah, 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 for me. But I think I've done fairly well. But overall, though, it's not something that is is earth shattering. It's just that no, no, no. every record is a is a proud record to have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, let me give a quick update though, because. Uh, Katlako and I, as much as we're chatting so many different things, uh, we've got an entire nation here that is uh, just gobbled up by the events that are happening. Um, at the Cricket World Cup, seven runs needed off uh, 28 balls. I know they've limited uh, the run rates, 27 balls now, still needing seven runs and obviously reaction coming through from you. Good evening, Miss Marawa. Miss Marawa, I think uh, it's all over for the Porteous. I don't see a miracle happening. I think the score of 212 was very low, really very low. Australia obviously are capable of overcoming that score very easily. Uh, Edgar again from Polugan. Good evening, Mr. Robert Marawa, everyone in Mzanzi, everyone around the world. Yeah, unfortunately, the Proteas came very, very, very short. The Joker's title will even be uplifted to a different title. It's not about how well we played in the tournament. I mean, on the day, we have to make decisions that's going to improve our game. And obviously, putting in Temba Bavuma was a big, big mistake. It's not about him as a person or him as a human being or him as a captain. It's just like on the day, same like with the rugby, Mane Lebok just could not handle the pressure. So that's why we needed a better kicker. Unfortunately, we out. And yep, we have to wait years and years again. Boom, boom, boom. Yay. Yeah. What can we say? We're going to try to take these final moments live for you. Eh? There might have been a slight change of that one from... In fact, it was. It went up in pace. All right, we'll try and just uh, get our live feed going and then we'll try and take those final moments now. South Africa, yeah, backs against the wall. Australia, 210 for seven. That 213 mark. Looking ever, ever so possible indeed. I think a lot of people have already given up hope and said, yeah, it's done. No further miracles. Uh, South Africa have been on the threshold many, many a time. Uh, but I, yeah. I think it'll just take one swig and they'll go for a four and it'll be it'll be done. It'll be game over. Right, we'll just line up those final moments. So if you're driving, my guest, Katla Kompela, is here in studio as we crisscross and we track his life, his journey. And at the same time, I mean, he comes through at a historical time because, you know, he could have been the good luck charm that we needed to get through to the final of a Cricket World Cup. And we would have forever remembered the 16th of November, 2023, uh, when the killer brought his killer touch uh, to get us through 
uh, into the final of the Cricket World Cup. But as it stands right now, I think there is <laughs> there is uh, some form of dismay, though. And I think you also look at some of the Australian fans. They're not 100% confident either. I think they still feel something could happen. I mean, Aiden Markram's there at the crease. We'll take that action live. We'll continue to chat to Keller. There's so much to get across from him. Two more. Two runs to get. He's picked the gap perfectly there, Pat Cummins. You'd see Miller actually moving across to his left, anticipating something chipped back in the air. Mark moving to his right, but still the gap was there. So it's Mitchell Stark on strike now. Three balls remaining in this over. They bring them all in other than a deep square. Will he be tempted, Stark? Will he be tempted to try and loft straight down the ground to win the game for Australia? No, no. Push through quicker. Flatter, faster from Markram. This makes Stark sweat that little bit longer. What a game. What drama right the way through this game. Back to the first ball, the first over, the first inning. South Africa were tested. And then it was Australia. Totally different conditions when they came out to bat. Dry, abrasive, turning pitch. Spinners were outstanding for South Africa. Yeah, 211 for seven. That's where it stands right now. And as we observe here with uh, Kilambela, historical times indeed, hey? South Africa, all is on ten to hooks. They oh, attempted a, a wild one that didn't quite work out. I think one of the biggest questions, though, Killer, as we head into a break, is that <coughs> South Africans excite themselves when former players are down and out, when former players are not able to produce for themselves. Yeah. Were you surprised by the amount of support people actually gave you as opposed to people criticizing you? Yes, honestly speaking, I was a bit surprised. But um, as I said, I've, I've, I've thought about this and mm. I knew it was going to happen. And, uh, but Rob, you must understand uh, where I come from, especially from the, the, the when I was still playing. Yeah. I, was, I think I was one of the players that was criticized a lot, yeah. especially when I was playing for the national team. So I was, I'm used to this, but I was, this was, this is a transition. So yeah. some are saying some hateful things, but you know, um, I have a thick, I have a thick thing, skin. Yeah. And obviously with the support of, of my family and, and my friends, mm -hmm. uh, and I took a decision and I took a decision and at the end of the day, I have to provide for my family. Mm -hmm. I have to provide for my daughters. And, uh, but honestly speaking, I was, I was surprised that I was going to get uh, positive more than uh, negative. And that says what to you? Does it, does it say that South Africans' mindsets have shifted, that we don't always want to see people crawling on their knees and looking out for handouts? What, what, what does it say to you? Yeah, it's, 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 it's a shame, Rob, uh, if people can uh, rejoice someone's downfall. Yeah. And, uh, but I don't... I don't take Twitter seriously. I don't take social media seriously because people hide behind their phones and, and, and say stuff. And uh, I'm used to that because it's the life I chose. I understand. So. Can I take this moment, please, uh, Katlaro? Through the eighth World Cup final. What a game of cricket. Two terrific semi finals, but it's Australia that have stood tall under extreme pressure, put on them by a very good and valiant South African team. The Australians have got out of jail. They've done just enough to win their way through to another final and take on India in Ahmedabad in a few days' time. Yeah. So there it is, Australia winning by uh, three wickets. Obviously, Katlejo, not the kind of finish that we wanted, eh? Uh, yeah, but it's, uh, this is a big stage. It's a World Cup. We must be proud of our boys. I mean, yeah. to reach the, the semi-final at this stage. I mean, I, I know people are going to compare them to to the spring box, but it's not the same. It's not the same spot, but uh, uh, we must we must be proud of them. Semi-finals is not easy in the World Cup. 
Sure. You, you know all about World Cups, my friend. <laughs> we'll talk about that when we come back. So there it is. Yeah, as we head into the break, confirming that South Africa are out of the Cricket World Cup. Hashtag MSW live now on 947 Vuma FM, Rise FM and Soweto Live at the same time. Hashtag MSW. Bring out the star in you with Lotto Star's exclusive Real Rush Prevay games. Spin the reels now to turn your ah uh, into woohoo with Mystic Fortune Deluxe Prevay, Golden Unicorn Deluxe Prevay, Hot Hot Fruit Prevay, Tyco Beats Prevay, and many more. You could win payouts of up to 20 million rand on our Real Rush games instantly. Lotto Star, your world of live games. Lotto Star is licensed by the Impumalanga Economic Regulator. No under 18s. National Responsible Gambling Program. 0800 006 008. T's and C's apply. All games are fixed on betting events. The official Black Friday combination from Kane. Taking several seats is a Furniture Parker mid back chair for 1299. Powering up is a Magneso 300 watt portable power station for 3499. The official Black Friday combination. Riding high is a Rally 26 inch Sabre 21 speed mountain bike for 1599. Don't miss these unbeaten. Deals in store and online. There's only one Black Friday, and it's a game. Deals valid 15 to 21 November. Season C's apply. Experience true pleasure and crack into the new Magnum Chocolate Cookie Crumble. Velvety white chocolate coated ice cream sprinkled with cocoa cookie pieces tantalizes your taste buds with a satisfying, crunchy, and magical blend made for when you need to treat yourself. If you're a true pleasure seeker, the new chocolate cookie crumble by Magnum is the answer. Enjoy it for the ultimate indulgence, perfectly coated in Magnum white chocolate. Magnum, true to pleasure. Start your engines and crank down the window, South Africa. It's time to pump it up and win your share of 2 million rand in pick-and-pay grocery vouchers with BP. This festive, swipe your smart shopper every time you pump it up with 600 rand or more. That's 200 winners, 10,000 rand each in eight weeks. So pump it up at BP all festive for more chances to win. T's and C's apply. BP, every day brighter. Step into the magical world of Africa Rare and discover the Abada Rewards Program. The Abada, a legendary double-horned unicorn, has the power to unlock incredible luck and rewards. I'm talking Gold's Gym Platinum Memberships, Apple AirPods, Adidas Paddle Rackets, Robux Gift Vouchers, Digital Collectibles, and even your very own piece of virtual land. Visit africarare.io, sign up, and start collecting your Abadas today to unlock incredible rewards. Bona, it's that time of the year again, Zanzi. This summer, pack your shorts, Limazaza. Call a scheme and travel to your favorite location. With affordable deals for you and the fam, you'll be shouting, Give me summer that's short left. Enjoy a hike with breathtaking views or yoga at the beach. Whatever your vibe is, we got you. Visit shortleft.co.za. After all, it's your country. Enjoy it, because nothing's more fun than a short left. Hashtag travel wise, Mzansi. T's and C's apply. Hashtag MSW live now. on 947 Vuma FM, Rise FM, and Soweto Live at the same time. Hashtag MSW. Marawa Sports Worldwide. To be honest, first six months at Chiefs, my mind was still at sundown. Even when we played against them one game, I just missed the six. I could, I could see that my mind was not there yet. What was going on in that head? Were you a bit conflicted? I mean, what, what was going through your head at the time? No, normally for me, it goes in and just hit the post. And uh, yeah. if we score that goal, we're gone. Uh, and then the interview came uh, and then <laughs> even the coach of Sundown said it, that uh, Kila is our son and, but I don't think he, made it, he meant it in a, <laughs> in a bad way and uh, you know this is they came back and I was like ah, yeah. my mind is still definitely there but uh, as a professional I, I needed to do my job and represent chips and that's what I did Hashtag NSW. good evening. Simpure X here. Um, what a striker we once had. Obviously, we always uh, go back to the goal that he scored against Spain. Uh, I think it was FIFA Confederations Cup. We eventually lost that game 3-2. But uh, what a great free kick. I think we'll never forget that free kick. So, as for Coach Pitham Simani, he was one of the best, actually, um, believers in Gatlakom Pila. Because I remember there was this game we were playing uh, whilst Pizom Simon was still the Bafana Bafana coach and a segment of uh, 
fans began actually booing him and eventually he scored on that game. I don't recall we were playing against which national team. And after the game, within the post-match interviews, I remember Coach Pizom Simani was like, sort of like angry, asking, show me a better striker than Katlako Kilampela. Just, just how much he was so good. All the best on his uh, future endeavors. Thank you, sir. We could say you're in for a good night. Thank you so that much. would be an understatement. Yeah, that is killer. The killer, killer, the giant killer is in studio with us right here on hashtag MSW Mara Sports Worldwide. As we continue the journey, the conversation, the WhatsApp voice notes and some of the wild memories that he can bring to the table. I know that you brought your team now. It's not a football team. It's no, a new team. It's a new team. Okay. okay. Do you want to introduce us? Yes, yes. I'll do, I'll do it very quickly. Uh-huh. And uh, on my right, I have uh, our, our, our dealership manager, mm-hmm. uh, Mr. Jonathan. And then uh, on the left, we have uh, executive salesman, uh, Mr. VW, uh, VW Guy. That's yeah. his nickname. Is that? <laughs> he, uh, he, that's his nickname. His name is uh, Mr. Matlokonolo. Yes. But they'll, they'll, they'll briefly touch on, on what we're trying to do there. And uh, maybe... Should we start with the boss? Yes, the boss. Let's always. start with the boss. <laughs> good, good to have both of you in the studio, though, by the way. And um, w- welcome to the show. It's also good to have a balance to find out. I mean, we, we're giving his side of the story, but also a reason why a superstar walks in, walks into the dealership and you feel that he has within him to do the work. Does he? Um, <laughs> that question. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Let me just start uh, by reintroducing myself. Um, my name is Jonathan Matibe. Mm-hmm. I'm the new car sales manager at Lindsay Saker VW in Midrand. So, um, back to your question. Obviously, in today's day and age, yeah. when you look for a job, it's common. You have to have a CV. Right. So, the CV must be, must sort of like correspond with what you, you're trying to, mm-hmm. to get into. So... Um, the gentleman sitting next to me, I, I, I'll, I'll talk about Katleo shortly after. Yeah. The gentleman sitting next to me, um, he was more into entertainment as well. Right. So he approached me, and back then I was still a salesperson. I wasn't a sales manager. Mm-hmm. Uh, when he approached me, he, he said, okay, um, he's been trying out events. Obviously, things are a bit tough. And then I, I, I thought, and I, and I sat down and I said, you know what, if somebody's willing to stick out their hand, Mm-hmm. And, and, and step out of what they are used to and, and venture into something that is totally different. And I know his followers. Mm-hmm. So I said, you know what, if you can, you can, can, can give it a try. And then I expected him to come. I think maybe he had some doubt. He never came. And then a month later, he did the same, same phone call. Mm-hmm. And it was early hours of the morning. I'll never forget that day. And I said, dude, this is what I can do for you. Mm-hmm. I can't promise you a job because I'm not in a position to offer you a job, but I can offer you because where I used to work, I, I was very successful. So I was one of the top salespeople there. Mm-hmm. So they, 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 they allow me to do certain things. If I want to try something. To be they, adventurous. Yes, they, yeah. they allow it. So he sat with me for, for, for quite some uh, number of months and he was very patient. Yeah. Um, we did this thing together. I, I saw him go from, from trying to actually accomplishing, to actually knowing the job. And I can tell you, he has his own successful story to tell. That's why he's sitting next to us. Yeah. So quickly now to jump on to Katleho. Katleho, when, when he approached me, um, I, he, I actually heard from someone else. Mm. And then I didn't take it seriously. I didn't think it's an actual thing. At some point, I actually told him I thought it was Kamumpela because it was similarity. <laughs> I was thinking about the, <laughs> the piano dancer. girl, the dancer. <laughs> so, Okay. Then he actually oh, took man. the initiative to actually come to the dealership. Okay, to my surprise, yeah. there is a guy. Okay. I'm puzzled. Okay, he really wants to sell cars. I said, okay. So so he knows Matlokonolo, Ganesh. Yeah. Um, so I said, okay, guys, let's let's do what we done with Ganesh. Mm. Ganesh, you know what to do. You done it with me when I was a salesperson. I'm going to give you the opportunity to do it with him as a salesperson. So... I've watched them work together. And, and, and what amazed me is that he actually shows up to work. I actually thought some, somewhere, somewhere mm-hmm. he's going to lose it because of in our daily business, as much as people may think it's easy, mm-hmm. it's not. Car sales are not easy. But once you are successful, there are 
big rewards. Um, I've lived the best life I've got to travel the world. Mm. I've seen everything. I've I've done almost everything. So test uh, driven yes, the best cars. You know, get, I get to get drive. To, I get, get to, to the drive, expos. I get to drive. Yeah. You know, I get to drive them for free. If yeah. I call it that, we pay tax implication to them, but it, sure. it's nice. It's 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 a nice. Um, it's a nice thing to have. So he understands now the, the rewards if he yes. does put in the work. Yes. And long term as well. I've actually showed him what I used to earn just to motivate him back when I was a salesperson. Yeah. And I had him in one interview. He what did you earn? You can't just tease us with such facts. Sure. There were months where... Do you want me to say it on radio? Yeah, yeah, of course. We were going to say it. We, we can't switch off the microphones now. We're live. Okay, so he, 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 was, he was big enough to mention his salary yesterday when he was... It's just that... Ish. No, no, he, for me, because for you, him you, it's a pass. For no, me, no, no, you, you were saying you yeah, motivated yeah. Yes. him by virtue of telling him what you were earning at yes. that stage. So at I'm that saying, stage, yes. Yeah, so I'm so saying, it's in the past, so I can say it. So you can mention so it. So plus no, minus 200K, easy, one month. Wow. In car sales. 200K? Yes, but you have to be one of the best. Like I said, in what I, what I, when I was a salesperson, I was really ranked as one of the best. Within the country. So if he can get that target now in 2023, it'll almost feel like he hasn't quit playing football. <laughs> he will earn the same salary. Easy. Wow. Hey, okay. You do the intros. Well, you guys are doing well with the introductions here. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and the titles and everything else. So you're passing on the baton. I've got another important human being that I've got on the line as well that wants to squeeze in a word uh, to Katleko before we leave. Okay. I leave you to the handover. Pelle. The baton goes okay, from Okay, yeah. So this is one of my senior sales executives, mm -hmm. somebody that I groomed, somebody that's now very successful. His name is Matloko Nolo Ganish, a.k.a. Demetrius. That's his actual name. Wow. So <laughs> I have to mention all those names because of... <laughs> and Ganish as well. Yes. <laughs> I have to mention all those names because of <laughs> this person. This know. person knows him as this person. That person knows him as this person. So, But at the end of the day, it's just one person. So he's, Okay, he's Ganesh, one please of the, tell us please. about your experience with this man and what gave you the confidence to say, you know, you want to go with this. Rob Kila, and thank you for the opportunity. Eh? Sure. Killer is a good friend of mine. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, eight years, for, it's been eight years now since we've been friends. Mm -hmm. They're about, we used to hang out together. So by the time he spoke to me, before he came to the dealership, I said, buddy, why are you so clean, my man? <laughs> I'm like, my man, I deal with clients on a day to day basis. Yeah. So I was like, no, my guy, why don't you come with me one day? Let's try something out. Sure. He's like, what? I'm like, the Spotters program. It's something that we, I started as. Right. I yeah, was working under Jonathan then back before the dealer, before we went to Lindsay Seke. Yeah. So I said to to Jonathan, to, to Katleho that, yeah. my guy, how about we try this out? I created that poster. Mm -hmm. The trending one. With the number. Yeah, with the number. Remember with that number, <laughs> just to relieve him of all the calls and messages on that poster, it's actually both our numbers. Yes. Then I gave it to him on Thursday. But do you hey, he blue ticked me. When I sent it to him, I told him, well, let's pause this and see what happens. Let's see the response. But you didn't expect this now that you're having right now. No, I expected 50% of it. But now we managed to get to, yes, yes. Where are we now on Twitter? I think we we're on 2.8 million. Hmm. But yeah, how, how, did, how does that now translate? So likes, he was saying that he's not a big fan of Twitter, which I understand. Yeah. Well, a lot of things get said on Twitter yeah, which correct. we can't take seriously. Yeah. But how would that translate to sales now? Because right. that's ultimately what you want. Yeah, I told him that. Mm -hmm. Remember, my man, the one thing that we need, we need people to understand that we're in car sales. Remember, yes. there's going to be people that are going to be negative to us. There's people that are going to come back now with a positive impact. We want those ones with negative impacts because of them. Once you say something bad to somebody, automatically changes into something good. Yeah. So now, negative energy that was thrown on Twitter, actually gave us a mileage of inquiries. So in the same day, remember he posted on Friday. Yeah. On a Friday up until on Monday, we had over 100 inquiries on cars. Huh? Yep. So remember, people that are inquiries, not like people are buying. Yeah, yeah, I was going to yeah, say. Right. So from 100 but inquiries to how many potential sales? What's important to us sales? is that people are doing inquiry. Remember, yeah. when you start making an inquiry, it means somebody's interested and somebody has overheard something. Yeah. So then, that's when I said to him, now we're on the right direction. But remember, our sea now it's gonna be, it's gonna it's flocked with with sardines and we actually looking for remember sardines are decline deals I'm gonna be honest with you sardines yeah uh, it's just that when I'm saying sardines it means 
We're catching small fishes. Okay. Yeah, we need big fishes. So, but, but sardines are healthy, though. Yeah, they are. But o- salmon, o- o- it's, omega but salmon, it's quality. You know? eh? yeah, right. Salmon, it's, it's a proper fish. Eh? <laughs> yeah. So, All right. Okay. Pause on that one. I'll, yeah. I'll come back to Katleko now. I'll, I'll tell you why. Because I've got somebody who I also believe is, is highly influential in terms of his journey. Sure. Uh, and that. Salmon and that. I'm not going to introduce you. You will introduce yourself. I know you too well, sir, in the space, but your commentary around him and that famous goal. My goodness, please. Baba Mtato, go ahead. Arkabizil <laughs> Oh, killer. Yeah. Your quick mm-hmm. response, Baba Mtato, while you're on the line, man, while you're on the line, he wants to officially respond to you about that famous bit of commentary that I think everybody relates to till yeah. today. <laughs> yes. hey, Baba Mtato. I agree with you. I'm all right, how are you saying? I feel, I feel, and that. Actually, Baba Mtato is, uh, people don't know this, but yeah. I think. Like you said, he he was influential into me, mm. into into me becoming this 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 big player and and, and with that comment with that uh, line, Babula a killer. Yeah. So I put him in the same level as Pizzo and uh, yeah. maybe Jamaso, Mr. Jomasono. You know, I'll sure. say they 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 launched my career. To be honest, people didn't know me then. Big influence. Big, in big, big, big influence. And, yo, 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 and yo. I will appreciate him. He knows every time I see him. Wow. Give him a big hug. And uh, yeah, I thank him for that. And, uh, you know, I love Abam I love Tetu. I love Abam Tetu. Abam Tetu, the world loves you. Killer loves you. I thank you so much, Baba. Please, I know you were running out of air time, so go top up. We'll <laughs> chat to you another time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, we got a we got a minute left. Please put a sales pitch. Convince me to buy a car by yeah. Thursday. Over to you. You've got thirty seconds. We've got to go. <laughs> We've got to go. Thirty seconds, please. The nation is listening. One, two, three, four. Go. Oh me. Uh, <laughs> you know what? The, well, it's, I don't know it's, anything. It's, I know that three hundred plus only, people it's, are it's watching. A, it's only my second day. At work, and uh, if you invite me again, I'll convince you to buy a T work. Okay, g- g- give me a reason why I must buy it. Because I think it's something that suits you, your personality, and, and, and it's something you enjoy driving with your your family or friends. It's a Volpa, my man. It's a Volpa. 2023 Volpa. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. How much? <laughs> ah, we did 900,000. I think you can afford that. Can I? Yeah, I think so. Okay, with the loan mm-hmm. from you. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're talking of here. We're saying that we're going to invite you back because we, we need to have you on the Legends chair and that, that's mm-hmm. the only only way we will delve into your real but, history and everything else. Yeah. But I wanted to say something bro, that Very is quick. important to me and yeah. and, and I want to encourage, uh, especially the former the former soccer players, yeah. and, you know, uh, my, my former colleagues that uh, we all know what happens after football. We know it's not a secret. So... Mm. I'm just hoping that this will encourage them to to come out of their comfort zone and and, and try new stuff, to try new uh, adventures and, and 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 you know people will talk, people will say whether you do whether you do good or bad, and yeah. I just hope this will encourage them and and you know they can have life after after football. I wish you everything of the best. Thank you, bro. Fully supportive, man. Thank you. Until we bring you back on a Friday.
Thank you. Marawa Sports Worldwide Live. On 947, Vuma FM, Rise FM, and Soweto Live. Hashtag MSW.